Superwoof24. I'm here on the booth of Rides in the Storm with Uwe. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. And uh, second day here at the Superboot. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here and make some interview and have a, a look at the new stuff. Yeah, right. You, you asked me about the history of the company, Rides in the Storm. Yeah. Many, uh, many people know me from MFB. I worked for a long time and then I founded the IO Instruments. Still, uh, still here at the other side. And then I had so many ideas, so therefore um, yeah, I, I uh, tried a decision to um, uh, found another company, Rides in the Storm. And uh, the idea of Rides in the Storm is to make slim, uh, compact models with high quality, very solid build and, and a discrete uh, uh, technology. So and what, to, what was the, the, I, the concept of the company? You making stuff affordable, well-priced products. Yes, affordable stuff, but high quality. This is a often it's, it looks like a, why how how to do that? Huh? So it needs a technology. You make own development. So we have own circuits with a lot of transistors, and that's called discrete transistors um, and resistors. And, and, you see, and, and you see a uh, you saw a need of a company doing more affordable stuff. I always see a need for uh, affordable stuff and for quality stuff. Also, in my opinion, uh, expensive stuff is not so solid, and it's, for me, it's sometimes boring in, in the analog area. Um, so there's not not so much research in analog area. So you see uh, concepts that are very old you can find in the internet. And, our idea is really to make a discrete technology with the best sound quality, plus um, offering with a, with a solid uh, steel metal plate and, and uh, screwed knobs, metal you knobs. Your expertise more in the analog field, or you think more of, of both? Um, I think. Uh, First, uh, my, 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 uh, my profession is organ builder. I started my life with organ builder. Later, I did some other stuff, but then I were for a long time musician. So, first thing you have to listen, you have to have ears. The next thing is you, have, you need a, a perspective, or you need a, an idea, or what I want. And I have some, I think, I know all, already all synthesizers they ever built. And have some synthesizers of mine I really like, but think they are like a Jupiter 8, for example. They're a bit out of date, and I think we, it's still there's still a place for our own concepts. And this start for me start with a, with a, a schematics or with a, with a with a design circuit design, yeah. Or not uh, only software. Software is important. Now we also have software in the QSQ, and software can help uh, to control everything in an efficient way. But software, in in a way of sound creating, it's good for sampling for me. Also make good oscillators sometimes. But this is not so easy. Make good oscillators with software because we need a lot of lot of power and a lot of uh, filtering after to avoid aliasing. But in an analog way, I think it's not, it's not the end. We have uh, the SMB technology that we can, like here the SED, uh, CSM, we can bring a big system in a small place. There are more than 3,000 parts on the back. Yeah. So in all, Synfo is a super important. I say Synfo is the best way to enter in the Eurorack because you have everything in one module. And it's pre-patched. You can patch everything here, but you don't have to patch in the beginning. Or you have a live act on with different voices here, so you you save some space also. This, for example, this is for for this or that. The next voice you you prefer the modular stuff or whatever. So it's. You save space, so it's also appealing for prof professionals, but also nice for beginners. They can still connect it with their with other models or later uh, expand and buy some other stuff. Everything is connected here. This, uh, by the way, this comes out end of the summer. Okay. We have to, we make the final approach to that. 
But if it looks like that, comes with uh, also with metal, uh, with screwed metal potentiometers. Because I saw a lot of uh, interest in, in the net about this uh, yes. new module. Yeah, that's nice. I hope. I hope. Uh, I hope so. I start with 300 uh, pieces, so I think it's a very good machine for that price. Can we hear it, or it's, uh, You can hear it also, yeah. Some silly sequence. First is your validation. Sub is your. I, I, I hear nothing, but I hope it works. <laughs> Another VCO. We have ring modulation. We have a noise generator. And we have an external in or. The LFO2 can use a third VCO2 with a wave shaper and also with sample and holes. We have some noise sounds. Sounds a bit different from this. So, and all together, you have a kind of orchestra. We have also sync, and we have a wave folder here for the first oscillator. We have some glide presets, three waveforms for each oscillator. They are based um, the VCO and VCO. What is it based? The VCO is a discrete VCO. There is no chip inside. Okay. Also for the envelope generator and also for the VCA VCO. There are no chips. That's great. Okay. The, the areas here have uh, slow and fast modes you can switch uh, via CV and a loop. The loop goes into audio range. Also for the second one. Get some nice uh, mandolin effect or whatever. The RSA also delivers a um, trigger out, end of decay, end of the um, attack goes here. And we have LFO out, RSA out, rate in, you can control the rate of the both LFOs and the sh control the shape of the second oscillator. And here also we have CV in for all oscillators, modulation, reset, external in, and all the single outputs you need. We can also have a, a filter in, insert here in parallel or in serial for a second filter because we're working on a high pass filter. So you can combine this excellent with, with other models. And this model is really packed with features. It's That's quite packed. How much is HP? Uh, it should be a 480, something like that. I mean, any HP. Uh, uh, so HP is uh, 36. Okay. Yeah, we, you can. Uh, I say you can uh, replace many modules with it. So you can have. Yeah. Of in in fact, there here you can have a look here. Is a DMO inside. There's a little BOC big oscillator a dock. We have an XXM inside, SED inside. So your new uh, big discrete oscillator, it is now also shipping? Yeah, it's shipping end, uh, end of the month. Uh, it's on the way to Berlin and uh, I'm really excited. This is here the another channel. We have 10 outputs. Wave folder from Triangle here. You can control it by CD also. The next wave is a 
ramp, you have a triangle, you have a good sign base also. Full slip. Is it based on the same design by the finger model? Yes, it's the same design. Oh, the decor is the same. Then we have a gravity out. A gravity out is very interesting. It's an XOR or the ring modulator with a triangle. And uh, uh, the first sub is a, is a fifth. So you get metallic tones. Then we have a fifth. We heard it next. Then a four. Then one like half below. Second octave below. And for the one and second octave, we have three waveforms and independent um, pulse width and pulse width modulation. Soft sync is voltage control. It goes from no sync into soft sync into hard sync. Okay. This is really experimental. And also we have a, a, a LFO mode. You can create uh, interesting waveforms by mixing the. I'm pretty impressed. I'm pretty impressed by this amount of outputs. A, a lot. Yeah. And it's not that a big module. It's not a, a huge module. Yeah. It doesn't take that much uh, space in your rack. But my recommendation is uh, to buy a, a mixer, for example, the N NGM. It's very small, but every input has the same uh, level. Or the bigger XXM or something else. Uh, because you have a lot of sources and it's a big fun to you have these wave changes. Huh? You have different sounds. And At least, uh, and you have a big new module in the pipeline or showing here at Superbooth. Yeah, this is the the QSQ. You can see here. Um, I think I, I explain a bit. I make the sound a bit down. So I explain a bit. This is an eight-track uh, uh, sequencer with eight CVs, eight gates. Each have a uh, up to ten volt out, and. Um, you can uh, you can choose for the for the channel uh, for each track. It's a MIDI interface with USB or with these MIDI uh, MIDI inputs, or it's uh, controlled by the sequencer. So it's and more than just a sequencer. It's, it's, it's also yes, you're right. It's also a MIDI interface. And you can use both uh, independently. Yeah. And for example, we have a track here. And we have up to 64 tracks. We have the pages. You can choose which page you are. And we can select, for example, here. You, it's written here. You can use the steps. Also written here. We can change the steps. And there, there goes a window. You can see it quite better. And then we can decide to have a swing mode or not. Or we have a divider eight times more up to divided at eight, so you can change a lot of uh, divisions here. And we have, um, the next, you can change the gate length for each track. Is there a ratcheting on board? Yes, also, my friend. For our friends of Berlin music? I know, I know. Here's the red trigger, the amount of red triggers you can select okay. here for each step and for each track. And we have mic micro shift. So the step is more forward, more, more laid back. And because the swing mode is very easy, it's just a typical Akai MPC swing. And um, the micro shift is more, yeah, if you have more ideas how to make a groove. The chance is a probability. So the note is played or not. Also glide for each, we have a glide for each uh, step. At modulation. Modulation is a kind of a small function generator like LFO or envelope. We have a, the type of uh, function generator and the amount. So 
well, when we are, we have scales, very important. Different scales here. That means it's quantizing. Okay. And root, the root is important, which is the, the keynote. You can change the root here. And maybe interesting also is to, let's go to the CV. Um, how, how you can, uh, how is the, look, we, I show you, we, are, we can show it in Hertz. This is frequency in volt, it's voltage, or in nodes, okay. like A, B, C. So you can also use this TV, uh, TV sequence of yeah. parameters. Then we have a range in cent. This is the resolution, 20 cent, nodes, or octave, so a different range. And there's a shortcut here. We can switch quite fast to see that what you want. It's helpful uh, for changing the sound. Let, go to different tracks. The first eight tracks are TV tracks. The, the, the another, the rest uh, of tracks are gate tracks. Look, here's the gate. We can change the, the gate. I go to here. We can change the frequency. Or here, we can change frequency. Well, now I want to see notes. And I can change the notes. Make uh, another steps, make shorter steps. And okay. That's the point. Or so maybe you can more also step. Uh, save your uh, tracks yeah. inside. You can save it. This is how to activate the step and deactivate. Okay. So, and to save, come here. We have a, a A to B uh, banks with, with 18 patterns. And we have also implemented a song mode. You can repeat patterns in a, in a way you type in. And yeah, this, uh, it's coming out in autumn. Yeah, so it's almost ready. It's almost ready, but for sure. Not all, uh, all features are implemented, but it's written in the, in the basic uh, core. So that means uh, yeah, yeah. a bit more programming, but uh, yeah, price tag is around uh, 350, 370 euro. Okay. And uh, you can also see it on my website because I made an article about uh, your new modules. Oh, yeah. It looks very, very interesting. Does I dream it or there's also LFOs or envelope, envelopes uh, generation inside? Yes. No. Yeah. So there's tons of features inside. Bugs, so yeah. Sequencing, CV processing. Yeah. Uh, some random, CV. also some random functionality to generate random CV values. And, uh, so uh, remember that. Uh, just a reminder, a book is available and the sequencer is coming uh, in autumn. Yes. Okay. Okay. Then uh, thank you, Uwe. Thank you, Tom, for coming. And, and uh, I wish yeah. you a good Superwoof 24. And thank you and hope to see you again in the next video. Bye. Thanks.